Just a quick brief video here on this oscilloscope I just got today. It's a Tektronix uh, 2430A. It's a digital oscilloscope. Uh, it's got a bandwidth of 150 megahertz. It, you know, for for something like that, uh, uh, you know, I just, I saw this on eBay and I went, you know what, I'll just buy this. Because it was just a, a super good bargain. Two channel. It's got uh, two external trigger inputs. I've got it just hooked up to the, uh, uh, the function generator here. And uh, it shows that just fine. Both channels work. Uh, the seller was giving a 30-day you know, money-back guarantee. So, uh, I, so far, I've gone through everything that I could think of on it. There was a kind of a short learning curve. It's very similar to my analog scope over there, but uh, you know, it's got some uh, some interesting limitations uh, as far as you know what frequency you're measuring. Uh, but it's easily overcome. Uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of a cool instrument. So hopefully, uh, you guys will see this. Uh, in some cameos, uh, it does excellent for low frequency use, uh, like uh, subhertz uh, uh, frequency uh, measurements. Uh, it goes into what's called a roll mode when the frequency gets low enough. So on my other scope over there, if I'm trying to measure uh, a square wave that's you know 0 0.05 hertz. It is extremely difficult to do it on that. It, but this one here, it uh, it's really easy. Because <laughs> it just stores the waveform and just scrolls it from, uh, uh, scrolls it to the left. And just keeps on going. So anyhow, uh, I think that's it for this. Uh, I'm just kind of just kicking back here and just playing with this and just running it through its running it through its paces, making sure everything works, and as far as I can tell, everything is just hunky-dory. So, we'll catch you manana.